Yes! <laughs> Did you see what happened? Fuck. Excellent. We had a very, very welcome. Um, <laughs> we had a very, very funny moment there that um, I think we recorded. Yeah. Where, uh, <laughs> I'll, you know, I'll have it played. You'll already have heard it. I'll do it just before the fucking episode. Yeah, kicks yeah, in. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was Colin uh, was setting up all the the like the mics and stuff, and he flits back in between the mics and the laptop yeah. to see if the levels are correct. And he stepped back and went <laughs> on a, a a chair that's on runners, like an office chair, and then it sank to the floor. All the meanwhile, he he <laughs> leaned back, and then it hit a ridge in the in the floor, and he fucking went arse over tit. Uh, it's it very was, funny. It, it was a proper it was a proper legs up in the air too. Yeah. Yeah. It was comical. I went down slow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go down hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you had a good week? Ah, I think so. I don't remember much of it. Because <laughs> <Well, laughs> you were so fucked up. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, no, grand. I don't think I've had much. Any drama? No. My, I still. This is still here. My coal sore has gone away. Oh, the coal sore's gone. It's nearly, nearly What did gone. you use on it? Something called coarse coleslaw. 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 <laughs> yeah. Available from, available from all supermarkets. <laughs> Give and delicatessen. Creamy coleslaw. Gets rid of all coleslaws. Oh, that's quite good that it's going no, away then. It's nearly the way. How's yeah. the ones on your dick? Mm-hmm. Nah, they're, they're never going. <laughs> <laughs> I need to file them down every... <laughs> <laughs> like rusty bolts <laughs> they file them down every weekend oh fucking hell um, I had to I've just got off furious with not with the estate agent see, the, see, the, see one of the problems I have with uh, life Ryan yeah. <laughs> is see when we because I, I explained last week we were trying to sell our house yeah um, last the last time we sold the house right there wasn't as I think humans have too much access to shit now. Okay, yeah, right. Now, pre uh, the, the the way I would describe it is: have, have you seen this? There's a there's an app. It's not even an app. It's like a website you go to called Red Sixty One. No, right. It's your your venue will probably give you it at the fringe. I feel like a, right. Yeah. You might not have had it before because you were doing free fringe yeah doing shite venues uh, yeah, yeah so now that you're actually doing a big boy venue okay. you'll probably get access to it if you want it i would advise so basically what it is is you go in and you can check you can check in real time how your ticket sales are doing oh fuck yeah yeah right? oh, well, good. and it becomes like it's particularly at the fringe it's literally every 10 minutes you're checking this fucking thing yeah yeah and it's it's weight it's more than anyone needs it used to be lovely where you'd just find out in the day Oh, it was either a great surprise or you would go, shit, I have to start shifting some things. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Now, I understand it's better because you fucking blah, blah, blah. You get to plan more. You get to market it more. You know where you should just fucking... Right? But I think it's too much access because it just makes people fucking mental. Yeah, yeah. Right? That, that, that might, yeah. So we had this this week. Now, there's a there's a thing. But when we last sold a house, right, you give it over to an estate agent. They phone you up and say, this is when people want to see your house. Yeah. No. And then you, <laughs> I, and then you, you, you're in when you meet them, right? Now, okay. there's a portal, okay. and the portal will tell you how many people have expressed an interest in your house, how many people are booking stuff in, and then they can leave reviews of your own house. Okay, right now that's right. Hard. Now, beforehand, you would never find out. You fucking knew when people yeah, yeah, didn't like your house, like, right? Yeah. And I think it's way too much information you're being given. Yeah, there's no need for you. There's no that. need for you, right? Now, most of them are decent people that <laughs> bullshit, that just go, yeah, look, yeah. it was either, it, it's out of our price range, or we didn't like the area, or <laughs> it's not near the school, right? It's, it's just run by a house of mongoose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whole one star. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this place is like the fucking last house on the left. <laughs> um, we had... You so, can see it popping up, by the way, them in the driveway, right? Uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> just coming up. The dead dog in the <laughs> in the front garden put us off immediately. Yeah, yeah, but um, it was not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> the, so, um, we got there was a, a an old man came yesterday, an old man and his old wife. <laughs> they came yesterday, right? And Amy had told me that he was a prick from okay. the minute. He, first of all, they arrived early, which is yeah. fucking out of order. Yeah, and then she said he was a prick and. And I, I didn't know if she was exaggerating stuff. So their feedback, right, today was they were raging 
because we didn't have a telly position in the house to show them where they could put it. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Right? And I'm like, this fuck is off. fucking... Yeah. I'd find them. Like, what is that? What, yeah. Like, first of all, we don't, we've got, I've got like a, I got a projector thing for my birthday mm. one year, so we just fucking project that onto the Great. wall, like adults. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> we tell it, right? Mm-hmm. To the idea that you are so fucking entitled that you would expect people to dress their house the way you would have Aye. it, or to give them options, is specifically put, it would have been nice if they had a telly to show us where, it would have been nice if they had a telly position yeah, to show yeah. us where we could put one. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm not rocking up to people's houses going... A bit of a shame you've not got a fucking trampoline mm. in the garden to show us where we could sit one. Like, oh, I see where I, what the heights I could touch. Oh my god, that would drive you mental. Uh, yeah, Arseholes. Would, yeah, yeah. That, so it's like Uber. Yeah, yeah. No, you can because I never got that too. Like, yeah, I don't know why. Why would you need to know what they don't like about those? Is it just for other selling tips? Absolutely no idea. Well, you should get. You need to get a television so they know what they really what, what they like. what they need to realize is I don't give a shit. Yeah, exactly. What you but, think. Mm. Buy it or don't. I yeah, don't, I yeah, yeah. Give a fuck. Do you? Do you? Do you you don't be annoying. It'd be really great if you're annoying. Because you told me last week people do it to just to get a rush out of it. Some people just go. And yeah, some it. people just like viewing houses. We've had some of them as well. We okay. Had, we had an old couple as well that came, and their feedback was the garden's a bit for, too big for them to manage. And okay. I'm like, there's pictures of the fucking garden. And that you've seen this before. That it's not the garden hasn't come as a surprise to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like if you if you walked in, and right, right yeah. and we had a pool that you had to maintain, <laughs> yeah. which had never been mentioned in any of the house description, you'd go, Well, that's a bit of a game yeah. changer. Oh, by the way, there's a water world joined on. Right. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> what them? Oh, that's just the travelers we have living in the back garden. No, don't worry about them. Sorry, but then oh is, is that not in the description? Oh, we really should update that. A garden. It, it, that's not a fucking surprise. Yeah, a garden. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit too bad for us. It's a bit too much for us to manage. Oh. We'll fucking get a garden of well, it. Well, then, yeah. Stupid old Get trick. better with your filters, then. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm not one of these people that, like, I know Sloss does it a lot that <laughs> denigrates the old. <laughs> but I'm fucking getting there. Like. <laughs> this is funny. Sloss does it a lot. Yeah. I do kill, I kill a lot of old people in my comedy sets as they you say. do yeah and I, I think it's because i find it's it's funnier than anyone else it's definitely funnier to kill an old person than a child well that's arguable but <laughs> <laughs> but they yeah. are the two extremes like you you never murder someone that's in their mid-30s yeah it's because like because that would be a tragedy <laughs> no no yeah, no, yeah. no though i think the way it is it's uh it's the cruelty nature of it imagine you know if you were <laughs> someone imagine i like a 95 year old mm-hmm getting their head kicked in is hilarious <laughs> but, it, but because but they've it lived their take... entire life yeah you know should have none but respect and then just near the end of it bunch of ones. i think what makes it funny <laughs> would be, fuck out of i it. think what makes it funny is would be the sheer shock <laughs> of it happening like the shock in their face like just them trying to comprehend why this is happening now <laughs> <laughs> That's for World War Two, you, you boomer. <laughs> Who do you? Which do you think? Do you think it would be easier to cover up the murder of a child or a pensioner? Pensioner, easily. You no, think most people haven't seen their pension like relatives in years? Aye. They could be dead for. Fuck. But I think you're here be... when you f- they find old people. It's always like. Oh, the lad, he was there. Must have been there for three weeks. And you're like, Jesus. Ah, that's true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> yeah, I suppose there's the, the milk bottles building up in the front yeah, doorstep. Yeah, and like, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you're right. Actually. I was just thinking about the ease of disposing of the body. But, but they would, they would, you, you see, like... You, know, you wouldn't you, really you, need to dispose of it. You need to pick your old person but you, specifically. You can break most old people. That's true. You could just go, like, ram them. Ram like them in a suitcase. Yeah, they would just crumple into it. I reckon... Whereas, I, I, whereas, um, whereas the kids, their bones haven't formed, they'd be flapping all over the place. I've seen old people that I I've reckon... <laughs> I reckon you could fit in... A, you know the luggage that you're allowed on the, board, uh-huh. a Ryanair? Yeah, okay. I reckon there's old people... I reckon by the end, I, you could have fit my gran in that. You're at by the end? No. You <laughs> At the That'd end, be great. Eh? At you, the end, it'd be funny could, uh, though. Your bag would be going for you if a wee IV drip coming out of it. <laughs> you know, like the whole thing coming alongside it. <laughs> yeah, going, she started going through the fucking thing like, oh, uh, you know, through terrible, the scanner. Like, oh god, enjoy a, your last holiday. <laughs> what a terrible random search that would be at an airport. 
I mean, the, imagine like the sweat, because like <laughs> it's a natural thing, I think, to get nervous around airport security. Anyway, even if you know you've done nothing, there's still that tiny zero point one percent element of doubt where you're going to drop something. Have I got drugs in my? Hey, hey, hey! Slowly pulling out a gun. But <laughs> the idea that you knew you were smuggling a dead relative in <laughs> hand luggage through that machine and then just watching it come down and just going please just please just pass please just pass <laughs> and then it stops and gets shifted onto the other carriage to get inspected you're like oh no <laughs> and then just starting going ah, it's probably uh, there's probably a bottle of water in there I'll deal with it don't you worry yourself uh, yeah. I'll get it <laughs> on the greatest thing we're like it's 100 mils and he's like yeah and he goes human body is two thirds water <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, like, oh, you know, we couldn't get her uh, with the coat. We're going to have to put her back through. And then the guy's just dragging <laughs> the dead body. <laughs> there was a coat uh, on top of her head. We couldn't get through. Very food. funny. Um, oh, speaking of scanning heads, you fucking tweeted about dudes in Mozambique reckon there's gold. I'm just going to do it. That's a new feature. I'm going to introduce at the start of the podcast called uh, In Bold News. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so every week I'm going to find a new, a new bold person's oh, story. Oh, for fuck's so sake. So this week in bold news, uh, the killing of five bald men in Mozambique is linked to a new superstitious belief that bald men have gold in their head. <laughs> Do you reckon after the fourth head you've cut open and there's no god bolt you're already go, maybe we'll go five just to make sure we'll go for another just to make sure. Gold in the head. But what is it? Like I don't know. No, I, if if you're if you're naturally bald, but you don't nobody's not unless you've got like Oh are yeah. Are people born oh, yeah, bald yeah. and stay bald? No. Do, no, I don't think so. Is there bald kids? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I know yeah. but not not with diseases, <laughs> yes. Right. But uh, right, yeah. so surely, what? But that doesn't make any sense. Would, they, would, like the, gold, would the gold develop uh, yeah, yeah. as you lose the head? I'll tell you how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I, how, I, I won't tell you how it works. I actually don't know what their point is yet because you can't, you can't unless you've alopecia or something wrong, like a disease or whatever. Yeah, yeah you, 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 yeah. It has to, I would class baldness as a disease. Do you reckon when their hair is falling out, that people are there eyeing you up, going like, <laughs> oh, there's some gold gold developing in there? <laughs> there's some gold in them, their hills. Yeah. Well, he goes, no, you, you're not, they're, they're sitting there like some guys, just like, you can't pick him until the last. Yeah, wave follicle. Over. That's when the gold will be at its then best. What happens if, He's ripe. <laughs> what happens if you're sitting there with like a kind of Statham type deal where you've still got some hair, but you're clearly shaving it? Mm. to the bone but he's bald but he is bald too is he bald he's definitely bald definitely too. bald yeah he's just do you know, he's do got you know like the, yeah do you know football Scott Brown yes Celtic captain Aberdeen captain he was Aberdeen captain yeah <laughs> he so for all of his pretty much all of his playing career he was bald yeah right and not bald like in terms of not like you Cri not like critical not critically bald <laughs> no <laughs> Not not, not to the dome. Critically acclaimed, critically yeah. bald. Not like fucking screw back for the pink bald. Screw right? back for the pink, right? Um, he he had a tiny, but you could tell it was like he was down to the... Then he went to become Fleetwood Town Manager. And the next time anyone saw him, he had a fucking full set of hair. Okay, that's right? odd. And he used to shave it just to look hard. Just he, to look harder. Fuck's sake, I thought he would be bald. No, he just he was shaved it to, he, full set of, full head of hair. Just shaved it to look harder. I mean it worked. That's very scarred, bro. Because you you don't see like a psycho a bald psychopath is scarier than a hirsute psychopath. That's true. That's that's and you're true. shitting it if we, because they've got nothing else, they've got nothing to lose, do they? Their life's already largely <laughs> over anyway, so <laughs> Yeah, this fucking maniac coming towards me. <laughs> Not even got any hair. Yeah, I'm you're dead. Like, man, he's got so much extra time that he doesn't when he doesn't have to go to hairdressers. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe there's gonna be so much bald news too. That's the worst thing about this bald news thing. Because <laughs> I know. And it's always bald guys that do yeah. fucking ridiculous it's yeah. always Moby stun something. Yeah. There. So that concludes this week's bald news. Oh. Stay tuned next week for more bald weather. More north. <laughs> Sunny or windy? Oh, that's funny, man. The, uh, bald, bald uh, sports. 
Will we just get to our film early today? Yes, yes, why not? Because uh, I think we'll have plenty to say about it. Mm. Uh, this was my choice, because I used to love this film. I do love this film, but we'll get into why mm. you can't really... <laughs> it gets it's worse a, every, it, gets worse every time you watch it. It's a different watch post as you're, when you're an adult to when yeah. I first saw it when I was 15. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to bang an old yeah. French man too yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> But, yeah, but this is, uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're doing Leon the Professional. Now, here's the very first question. I only ever knew this film as Leon. Oh, yeah, it's called The Professional in some places. It's just called The Professional. So, I, I, I think, right, it's called Leon in, it was Leon when I first saw it. When I first got it out of the video shop, it was Leon. It was a video shop, yeah. Right? I reckon when I saw it in Sky years later, it was called Leon. And then when I read about it in film magazines or film books and stuff, and with this, it's called Leon the Professional. Mm. And I in Europe, it's called Leon. I only knew it as and Leon the Professional. In America, it's called Leon the Professional. But we'll get to the why the American okay. release is far different to the European okay, release. this is interesting. I think it's because... Do you know Americans are so stupid? <sighs> yeah. First of all, I think it's quite good that it's called Leon the Professional because I think there should be more film titles... Yep. Where the guys, it's not just a name you get, like Jerry Maguire, the sports agent. Okay, right. Gladiator, the gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest okay. Gump, the retard. <laughs> Shamu. Shamu. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's a film called Shamu. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's not even films. No, Whitney my Houston. God. Malcolm Shamu. X, the shagger. <laughs> Malcolm the Tenth. <laughs> yeah. right, that's another reason. This okay. is why I think, because I think Americans are so fucking stupid that they don't. Not all Americans. If you listen to this, obviously you're not. Um, highly, highly. The they like. There's that famous thing about the film, The Madness of King George. <laughs> okay. Where. I think it's in George the Fourth. I've, okay, I've already, I've just called people stupid, and I don't actually know where you're going. Specifically, no. Have you never? You must have heard this. So, right, madness. My nose is killing me. Of King George. There we right, go. the madness of King George. George the Third. Sorry. Big George. George the yeah. Third. Right. So the ma- so the initial film was called George the Third. Sounds better. Right? They changed it. Or not better, but for American audiences, and you know why. We do the joke in our group all the time. Oh, they were God. wondering why they hadn't seen the first two. Generally, so they called it the madness of King yeah, George because he was the mad so king. Fucking like, yeah, that's that's dumbing down. If I found out people are dumbing things down that much for me, I'd just. But it's incredible when you find out what's been taken out of films from oh, like, test screenings, like China, Doctor No. Oh no, that's but that's that, that's, that's funny though. That's, that's, that's cul- just a bad. That's yeah, cultural. That's just a bad racism and stuff like that. They. Oh yeah. What I mean is, in America, in particular, they take out things because audiences just don't understand. <laughs> just don't understand <laughs> life. The, the madness of thing. I, I don't see that Doctor No. Uh, Doctor No in China was called like badly mm-hmm. translated for years. It was like Doctor No, please, I cannot do that or something. <laughs> I that, but that, that's 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 just, funny. That's, that's just, just a, lost in translation yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm talking about stuff that's taken out of films. So I think it's called Leon the Professional because I think for an American audience, your average to... American audience, Leon is just too ambiguous a title. So they need to go Leon the Professional and then folk go, oh, right, he's, a, oh. he's an assassin. Oh, right? God, I, that's think, so I think that's why. Hitman 47. Haven't seen the other 46. Yeah. That really, that, we used to always do that joke. Yeah. 10,000 yeah. BC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't it's think... It's going to be a long weekend. I think it really works... I think they really do it when it comes to Roman numerals. And I think the Rocky films have probably got to blame for that. Because right. Rocky were always called Rocky I, Rocky... Were they the first? Double the, the I, way? Rocky Three Eyes, <laughs> Rocky, Rocky IV, <laughs> Rocky V. Rocky V, eh? And then Rocky Balboa. I didn't even know Balboa was a Roman numeral. <laughs> 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 what number's <laughs> that? <laughs> Fucking hell. The Balboa. <laughs> um, <Just> seven. <laughs> so I, I think that's probably what caused it. And then... Uh, the fact that it was called Magnet, it would look like George the Third, and then you would they not just call it like Leon the Big Mad Killer? Then I think that's too obvious, though. No, so Leon it, the Cleaner, I think, would be better. Cleaner. But then they're gonna go, this fucking guy doesn't 
He left a humble mess. Guy lives like a slob. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. He only cleans his plant. <laughs> um, so if you don't know what this film's about, by the way, it is just an assassin. He picks up a young girl whose family get murdered next door. I think the term picked up isn't really he, given he a fair a fair up. representation of how this happens. Yeah, so he rescues her. <laughs> can I just say he picks her up for one reason and one reason only. <laughs> he saw an opportunity. <laughs> he saw an opportunity. I mean, it's a hell... If that is his intention, <laughs> it's a hell of a fortuitous... He sent Gary Oldman? <laughs> nah. Uh, <laughs> so, so, right. Uh, I think this, this film is basically a big disabled French guy yeah. Tries not to shag a kid. Yeah. Now, Luke Besson's upset. To be fair, he is a good assassin. Yeah. In terms of assassins, he's probably the best film assassin. I love that. Yeah, he, he's because really cool. Because technically, Bond is an assassin. Yeah. But Bond is the most obvious assassin possible in that yeah. everyone knows who he is. Yeah. Whereas with Leon... They barely even see no, him. No cunt knows who he is. Yeah, apart yeah. from Apart from the, the Italian dude, Tony... Nobody knows Leon. Yeah, even Gary nobody, Oldman didn't know yeah. what he looked like until. Aye, then. nobody knows Leon lives in that city. No one knows he lives in that building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he is a professional. He is, he is a good assassin. He's a professional. Yeah, right? he is he's, a professional. He's the intern. Yeah. Do you reckon? Do you ever see him when he was Leon the amateur? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, firing fucking. That was when he was when he kept his amateur status just so he could, <laughs> just so he could be a hitman in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think this film. Um, Maybe I'm looking for it for the old absolute cut glasses now, mm. but it, there is a lot more really stupid shit than than I remember. Yes. I love it. I, st- I do love this film. Yes. I'm going to tear it to pieces. Yeah. Because oh, there's, it there's is a lot funny, of but I do enjoy stuff, this There's film. a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. A lot of the thing, yeah, right, I love Gary Oldman in this film. I love the... And the actions are all brilliant. Isn't yeah. It? But there's, like, there's very little but, action as well. There's only really... Two, yeah, two scenes. Yeah, yeah. The opening scene and the ending scene that are That's actually, right, actually action yeah. packed for for what is considered an action film. There's very little. And 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 you know as well, Luke Besson, right? This is my point. Is he's kind of like dabbled with these kind of like kid things before, like he fucking this is fucking French fucking film people. Mm. But it, like he was upset. He did all those. He he's obsessed with women assassins usually. Ah, la femme Nikita. He did that. Yes. Lucy, that terrible God, film. I quite like that. Anna, even worse. Is that him? Aye. He wrote, I didn't really wrote Taken. I thought he directed Taken. Do I, did he? I thought it was his film, yeah. Maybe it isn't, but anyway, aye, I thought he did Taken, yeah, it was his big one. But anyway, look better. So he did it. He did some crack- crackers. He did like The Fifth Element. <laughs> shite. You don't like The Fifth Element? I hate The Fifth Element. It's all right. Utter I shite. Like, uh, I can't remember too much of it, mind you. But yeah, so yeah, he's into that whole... Uh, but he also has a... Yeah, like I've got like I, I want to make sure I got it right. Luke Besson is not the. He's got a bit of a dodgy. Oh, does he? Aye. Oh fucking it, hell! I I sorry. I was chatting about the man dodgy just because of his film. No, no. He actually did some shit. Eh. Uh, has he banged a kid? No, he's not. Well, <laughs> let me get it. Up. Let okay, me get it up. Right. right. So. Uh, Luke, and it's L U C as well. Proper French. Luc Besson. Luc Besson. Right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right. Uh, is it, are you doing the thing where you're going into Wikipedia and looking for the little headline? That no, no, says, no. I had a fucking... just says, controversy. <laughs> 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 you know, like Stephen Seagal's is 19 Yeah, you, ne- you never want one of those. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right Early right. life. And then it's straight into... Con- <laughs> <laughs> Early life. Straight into controversy. Uh, when it, when it, when it uh, graduates to scandal. There yeah. You go. Right. Yeah, so look, Besson. I'm because gonna... uh, the reason, right, wait a minute, I fucking lost this thing. Two seconds. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. Because um, there is obviously dodgy stuff about this. Okay. Um, where is the stuff about Besson? I'm really sorry about this. Uh, uh, um, was... Where the fuck is it? God damn it. You're having. I'm having a mayor. They haven't what many would describe as a mayor. Yeah. This uh, is... Uh, y- y- here we go! <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Luc Besson met child actor Maywen Lebesco, who, I found out, plays the 
I'm assuming's a prostitute at the start. You know, the fat guy that comes in that Leon has to do as his first yeah. hit? The girl that he sleeps yeah. with in the hotel room, that's Luc Besson's girlfriend at the time. Oh, no, she's, play, she's playing like yes. a kid. He met the child it, actor when she was just 12. This is Big Besson. They started dating when she was 15. Where age do you think he was? 40. 32. They married in 1992 when she was 16. And she was already pregnant with their daughter. Ooh. Yeah, so he's a paedophile. No. No. Yes, he is. Right. But is he in France? Uh, <laughs> right. Age of consent in France. I'll probably do this on private. It's funny that, like, you, you can tell he's in trouble if that was... Minimum age of consent in France is 15. So technically, <laughs> in France, he is not a criminal. Yes. But to every other person and anyone with any sense in the world at all, he's a dirty beast. That's that. See, now this this changes things because <laughs> because he's now a paedophile. You're now, now going to have to rip your Luke Besson poster off your wall and your flat. Fucking like, I, do you know what? I can't, but you get it off this film. Like, mm. in fairness, mm. most of it is it doesn't happen. Right? Well, she says she says that the film Leon. She said in an interview that the film Leon is largely Luc Besson dealing with his own demons about their relationship. My God. Yeah. So, so Jesus fucking Christ. Has she still... It really it? changed this film for you. Yeah, it has, because now I'm watching it going like, well, it, then he, it's just, it's like a pedo trying to get it out of his system. Mm. And then it does, it, I, now it kind of makes it feel like when he's made the film, he's like, I better make him a wee bit simple. So that mm, there's, there's that's dark as well. Isn't I, it? I reckon that's what he's done. Yeah, like because otherwise it, there's no need for him to be simple. Yeah, but like adding there trying, is, to add, trying to add a bit of fucking. Were you gonna ask if he's still if they're still together? Mm. No. Okay. He right. murdered her. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he's a. Uh, but how would you? That his girlfriend at the time was her. That's even worse because she plays basically a clearly supposed well, to be he met a, her at twelve. A, a Matilda a, a, a is twelve in the film. Oh, Jesus Christ! Now it's either it's it, oh, it might be, it genuinely might be Luke Besson had two fantasies. One was sleeping with a twelve-year-old girl, and one was being an assassin. And right. he has literally just made the film of his dream. That's it. That's that's what he's done. And and right. Okay, well, let's get to the, we'll get to the, right, we'll get to now, this. Well, let's is, go straight into this. There is this a theory, part. there is a theory, right? Okay. I was going to touch on this later on, right? Because which version did you watch? See, I don't know what the other version is because I've seen How this How long film was your about, version? I've seen this film so many times. Now, How long like, was your version? About two and a half hours? A good long, yeah, about two right. hours, I would say. In your, the version you watched, does Leon explain how he became a hitman? No. Right. This makes it completely different, right? So, um, there are a couple of scenes. So, there's an international cut, which is basically called a director's cut, mm. which Besson wanted to put out. And then there's another one that was the pedo US. Cut. The US. No, no, no. <laughs> this is the pedo cut, okay. right? The US cut was half an hour shorter because there was some, again, test audiences. Now, test audiences, before I was calling stupid because they didn't understand stuff. In this instance they're probably correct there were certain things that were taken out right <clears throat> lovely there was a scene that was taken out very very early on this wasn't because of test audiences this was because of natalie portman's parents there was see there was not, a scene not where, serious there was a scene where they had sex now nah. that well, you showed them having sex nah. Right, that was a very, very nah, early on. Nah, you're lying. It was in the you're script. It was in the script. It wasn't. It wasn't. Listen, no, it never got filmed. It never got filmed. Right, but they went. That's kind of an outline. For John, us. John was just sitting there like, I know I'm bang a kid. <laughs> I don't think it even. It even. It not even got to. I think that it was casting at the time, and Natalie, because Natalie Portman's parents. First of all, I, I'm kind of. I, I wouldn't let my daughter act in this film. No. At all. No, no. Right, but they had stipulations. One stipulation was she could never be seen inhaling when she was smoking. Yeah. Right? Another stipulation was she quit smoking during the film. Okay. And the other stipulation was she wasn't filmed having sex with an older man. <laughs> it's quite a stipulation yeah. to have your child out. 
I just want to put in here before we get in this. I don't want my child horsed on camera. Yeah. I feel like it's a, a an unwritten stipulation yeah. for so everyone. So that, that scene was taken out well early on. The rest of the scenes that were taken out were taken out largely because American audiences found them a bit too distasteful and uncomfortable. Oh, was it, uh, oh please say it was like Leon was hammering child prostitutes. <laughs> But like, actually, like, when you see the scenes, are not actually that bad, and it actually they do help the film because in in your one, mm. right? So in in the one I watched, right, there is a scene where Matilda, who's Natalie Portman, comes out dressed in a pink dress. Did you have that? Yeah, Mr. President thing. No, no, no. That's that. No, that's not when. Not when she's doing the Marilyn Monroe impression. Later on, she comes out dressed. Yes. In clearly, an he adult's buy, he, dress. He, he buys her a dress. He buys her a dress. Yeah. They they go out to dinner. Yes. They drink champagne. Yes. When they go home, what happens? Does she say? Does she suggest that they have sex? <sighs> he does. So she says something awkward to him. I can't remember what it is. And then, so what? I, from what I understand of what the version you would watch is, they come home, she's in the dress, she comes out. The next scene, they wake up in a, f- in a, a bed together. So the hi- it's highly implied. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, she does. <coughs> yes, yes, they do. Yes. yes. So it's highly implied that they had sex. I don't know about that. Well, she comes in dressed <laughs> in a dress to seduce him. The next scene, they wake up in a bed together. Okay, right, And she's yeah. in her underwear. Okay. Now, fair, fair, fair to him, he's still fully dressed, but yeah, yeah. he may have just slipped out the side. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's another Long John. He's yeah, a yeah. Long John type of guy. Oh, you, you'd tell. Yeah, he got the flap. So the scene, the, shite flap. the main <laughs> scene that, that's taken out is she says, right, we're going to have sex. It, uh, it's very important for our first time for a girl to have sex and all this kind of stuff. He then explains why they're not going to have sex. Now, you would imagine normal, any normal dude mm-hmm. would just go, the reason we're not going to have sex is because you're fucking 12, right? Yeah. This is insane. It's gone too far already. Get out. Right? Yeah. What he says, he then explains that he has only ever loved one person <sighs> when he was 17 years old. Okay. Right? And... Because she, I think she was more wealthy than him, than him, so her father completely disagreed with their relationship. Okay. And tried to force them away. Okay. The daughter and the father got in at such a massive argument that he was quite, I think he was quite high up in the town and I'm assuming France, okay. where they lived, he ended up killing the daughter through this argument, right? He ended up getting so violent, he ended up killing the daughter. Right, it was then completely covered up because he knew people higher up. The police investigated for a couple of days, and then it was completely covered up as an accident. Okay. Leon then went back and killed him. Okay. And that was the first time he killed anyone. He then left France. His dad was already working well, for Big was, Tony. Was he meant to be Italian in this? I can never. Well, I don't. Well, that I don't know. They never really it, say. It could be just a French no. dude in Italy. So his dad already worked for Tony, hmm. and then so he gets sent over to New York to work for Tony, and that's how he became an assassin. All right, okay. Right. So he's explaining this, right? Now, there is a theory that the reason... There's a theory that the, the, that he's so sure... Sh- that he's not actually a bit slow. Because he is. I never picked up on this when I watched it as a teenager, that he is a bit... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a bit slow. He's yeah. He's got mental deficiencies. Yeah, yeah. I think he's just... He's, he's, I was thinking more of like autistic... Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. Because he can't really read mm. social norms, but he is highly efficient at one specific thing. Yes. Yeah, actually, yeah, and, he, yeah. and he's got an order. of He likes things in order. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Rode the plants. Yeah, so there's a theory that the reason he doesn't think it's so bad being with her is, remember, he still thinks she's 18. She's told him he's 18, which yeah. you go, fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, there's a theory that the shock of him, his girlfriend being murdered, has basically trapped him in a seventeen-year-old mindset for years, <laughs> right? Yeah. And that's why he doesn't see it as such a big deal for them to be together. And 
the re- so she says, right, we should have sex, we should have sex, come on, really, no, it's going to be great, going to be great. And he's like that. No, and he tells a story about the girl being killed. And then he gives his reason for them not having sex. And his reason is that because he's only ever been with one woman, he wouldn't be a very good lover. <laughs> that's his reason. <laughs> we can't. That's so fun. It's weird. We can't, we can't do this. I've only ever... Rather uh, than just going, look, you're rich. fucking... 12 oh. um can't even believe we've got this far yeah yeah but let's rein this right back i've made a okay. huge mistake i realize you've got massive dad issues here <laughs> yeah right yeah. but i was there actually this isn't the way to resolve them he just goes i'm so sorry i cannot the reason i cannot have sex with you is because i cannot make you come no. oh. <laughs> i have a very <laughs> tiny penis and i'm afraid that you will laugh at me Leon, he's no, he's no bore at, but uh, Leon the nonce. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not very good lover. I would only disappoint you. He doesn't. Oh, by the way, you know what? I did feel uh, not, sorry for him in one part. That was a pretty good John Wayne. I would come far too quick. <laughs> Thirty seconds. I would be in. I'm a one pump man, and I do not want to ruin your dress by coming all over it too quick. <laughs> Is that this is how you find the I have been drinking. <laughs> we had champagne. This is going only going to make it worse. Even if I was stone cold sober, I am not very good lay. But now we have had champagne. He's, he's turned into a Serbian. <laughs> he's turned Serbian. Oh Jesus Christ! Do, do you think? Um, <laughs> I have already come. As soon as you came in the room, I come. <laughs> Uh, 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 he's a very basically he's he's a harmless pedo <laughs> this is what this film is trying a to a great pad- name for a band a harm- are you going to see it tonight the harmless pedos <laughs> harmless pedos <laughs> the worthless pedos <laughs> um yeah so this is a guy he, he, what, what's the deal with the, so he's, he, he likes his plant it's so weird because they they go I don't think they get that when I watch the film, I don't think they think that paedophilia is wrong. I feel like they go, oh, we better not. I don't think they think it's wrong either. And I think it's because of... I think it's largely because they're French. <laughs> I think they... I, I genuinely think because of this age of consent thing. And I think because they don't actually show anything. Yeah. I think they honestly go... <laughs> I, th- so, I, th- I genuinely think so. they're going, this is quite an interesting angle to explore. And we're all like... Like, did you have... I can't remember if we've talked about this in the podcast before, but there is a thing, right, about younger girls going for older dudes, particularly when they're coming into teenage years. Mm. And I was trying to explain to Amy that she was, like, saying, like, where where they were, there were girls in her year that would go out with guys who were 18 to 21, and they were 16. Yeah. And I was telling her, genuinely... When I was so when I was twenty one, if I was at university, right? Mm. If any of my friends were cutting about with a sixteen year old girl, you'd fucking say something. Yeah, you usually get it like a hiding. Like exactly, like yeah, you yeah. wouldn't. It wouldn't be allowed to pass, regardless of legality. Yeah, it would be. It'd look fucking wrong. Like if we, if yeah. I, if I, if, I, if Amy. If Amy left it's me never and I rocked up with a 22-year-old, yeah. there'd be fucking words. Ah, yeah, Nothing's yeah. illegal, but there'd be words. And you'd go, you well, guess, fucking, you're, you're, creepy you're bastard doing here. If, 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 I guess if your only thing is looking up yeah. <laughs> rules. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, that's yeah. never like, it's always yeah. usually you're doing something wrong in a game. If yeah. you're going, fucking check if that's aye, allowed. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's wrong if you're looking up rules. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're going through the Constitution, you're like, I wonder if this is bad. And like Reagan from the Alpha, I reckon it's not good. Um, Check out the rules, eh? So laws. So I, I think, I think, I think the, I think Bezos probably just gone. This he, is an interesting area to explore. Yeah, because he was fucking exploring child exactly. vagina in exactly. his real life. That's that's insane. That well, that's what that's that's way worse than because that means Luke Besson is just exactly what I thought he was. The more you read about this film, the more worse it gets. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Okay. It would. I would have quite happily had it as I remember it, which when I first saw it, I remembered it just being an assassin 
who takes a young protege under his, under his wing would have been to perfect te- to teach her how to be a killer. He was next that, door. That would have been everything. There was no need to. I'd go have been like, fine with that. You would have been grand. I'll teach you. If not, live for your family. So I'll be murdered next yeah. door. I was and there. Also, I opened the door. Also, I can't read. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, be honest, like I'll be honest with you. I'm behind in a lot of shit yeah, here. Yeah. My admin is fucked. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you shake up with my Gene Kelly. That's a fucking that's that's ridiculous it. fucking scene that is. Yeah, right? yeah. The yeah. timings of this. Right. So <laughs> Oldman tells the dad, you better have an answer for us by noon. Oh yeah. They yeah. come out, they come on, bang on noon. And Leon's already been to the cinema to watch. What fucking time did this film start, Leon? <laughs> oh, no, nine in the morning, they're showing old musicals. <laughs> Fuck off. Got a Sunny World card. Le- Leon, yeah, yeah. He is a paedophile, so it would be something he would do, watch Singing in the Rain at midday. Not a, a, a 10 o'clock showing, 10 a.m. Right, so the, the DA basically, or, right, so Gary Oldman's character, absolutely ridiculous character. <laughs> yes. Big fan of it. But Jesus Christ, like Norman Stansfield, Nor- <laughs> Norman, <laughs> Fuck it, Norman, Norman, right. First of all, you know they kind of introduce him, and he, everyone, you know, you know, he, he takes a pill. Yeah, you know, he cracks his neck like a fucking. That's that's great. But what do you think that pills for? I was going to ask you the same. I just vitamin D. I because I I was like it's Viagra. I didn't. I had no fucking idea what. When I first saw this, I thought that's kind of like what old drugs were like oh, and God, I was like right. fucking yes man this is but it hits so hard yeah. so quickly <laughs> and pa- pa- so I looked at it. apparently it's Librium okay it's used as an anti-anxiety <laughs> thing that basically calms you the fuck down immediately he didn't look calm didn't seem no calm. he didn't look calm at <laughs> all didn't no. seem calm at all and, and, and if anything the least calm guy that I've ever seen yeah I love going through the beads I always remember that's one of the main things but it's so I mean it is good he's excellent this is when he was in his good bad the guy going through the beads this is our second Gary Oldman bad guy it is, and, and, and not as many and quite Air a Force one. good quick succession as well yeah yeah. The going yeah. through the beads is brilliant the the eight, the move where he takes the pill anytime where he just kind of goes, yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah. And the, the thing where the little cam is before bring the time. me everyone. Yeah. Where the hell do you that's mean so everyone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jesus Christ! <laughs> how how unrealistic was that team of DA people? Terry <laughs> messaged me as well about it. Uh, Terry mm-hmm. and he was just like fucking. <laughs> how unrealistic was the DA people and it's very true like you know the movie's yeah. like you stay here and explain why the yeah. kid's death they, the entire team look like they're all undercover but yeah. with different groups of people yeah 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 because you've got one Italian looking guy that's sick. chewing chopsticks <laughs> <laughs> don't even start. Yeah, yeah. He looks like, all right, he's trying yeah. to infiltrate the mob. And then you've got the guy that looks like a, a Rastafarian. Yeah, he's An- trying, another he... Angelina Jolie, gone in 60 seconds. Yes. But, well, like, well, yeah, his is just... Who yeah. the fuck's he? Yeah, yeah. It, it's such a, a, a disparate mix of dudes. Yeah, yeah. And he opens up fire. Why, like, none of these are, like... There's no way a policeman would be allowed that machine gun. No. They've got Uzis. Yeah, he's just shot Actual a fucking, fucking Uzis. And also, like, you know, he's like, yeah, just stay here and explain to them. And he's like, what am I supposed to explain? I'm like, oh, that's grand. But then <laughs> he, they bring him back later in the film. And he's just like, well, he pulls the gun. I shot him. What were you? Why are you wasting my time? And I'm like, you fucking executed a woman in a bath. <laughs> yeah. I don't like, he <laughs> shot an old woman. There's a kid that there's bullet holes everywhere. Like, there's, there's no way you get the, out of this. The internal, the, the internal affairs investigation into this dude would be months, right? Yeah. There is not a chance he'd still be working a case. That's, yeah. He certainly wouldn't have the power to call up what looks like the entire SWAT team at the end. Oh, yeah, not, yeah. Not Everybody. just New York SWAT team, the entire country yeah. SWAT team. Bring the army in. You're like, what? How, first of all, I, I, like being a cop, I reckon the minute a kid gets killed, you're suspended yeah, pending investigation pending, yeah, yeah. for a long goes. while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the other one didn't even look 18. And there's she not, probably just 18. The there's not shot a, in the back. There's not a cursory, a, a cursory interview by two dudes in the apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah so I mean, what, tell us what happened to you. Right? He pulled the gun. Okay, can you explain the other 300 bullets? The wife that's been blown away in a bath, in the bath, while she was in the bath. This one took a shotgun to the back while clearly running away down the hall. 
and there's a child dead, like literally. Yeah, there's, and there's a child holes bit... through the mattresses. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> there's that. Someone's ripped this radio apart. There's, yeah, 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 there's yeah. residue of drugs in the radio. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I also like to say that everyone saw it. It was midday in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> why, is, why is only one old woman that yeah, alerts? Yeah, is yeah, alerted? Yeah. Was everyone out that day? Uh, according to the next door neighbour, according to, and just, you can correct me, you pinged the bullet off the side of her head <laughs> to shut her up. Yeah. Even the, even the bit at the end, when the SWAT team come to get Leon, they fire a rocket and into fucking... his apartment. <laughs> it's an apartment <laughs> building. There's no concern for the two people <laughs> either side whatsoever. <laughs> a fucking rocket. <laughs> watching, watching the prices, right? What the fuck's <laughs> going on <laughs> next door? <laughs> fucking guy's got his telly up again. <laughs> a weird French guy with the kids. <laughs> 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 telly up again. Oh, looking at your little people, and it's him with a gun oh. up close. That's that's very funny when he walks up to the the SWAT team, like mm. right at the wall. Remember he yeah. peeks around, the gun barrels right at his yeah. eye. There's some cool. I mean, the bit where he swings down. Yeah, from yeah. His, he's he's hanging above because that that like again we don't get very technical in this, but mm. foreshadowing when he's doing the fucking. Oh, yeah, constantly, yeah. and you go one day he's gonna need a strong core. Yes, and by God he did. Yeah, then by God he, he needed it. Yeah, he got he got. Pinged. There's some cool ways he kills people. Yeah, yeah. When he just hangs the guy, he just <laughs> drops a like it's not even it's like a cable tie. Yeah, down yeah, and yeah. Then just hangs <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like um, my favorite. I think my favorite kill scene in it though is the oh no the one he doesn't when he comes out of the thing you know he's the fat pedo and he's just like you know he's nice the, the little knife. Answer the phone. Yeah. And it would be great if it was just like, he, he owned a phone bill. Yeah. He's like, Verizon. <laughs> That's also, when that... Pay your phone, pay your council tax. And that, first, <laughs> and that first guy phones the police and he goes, there's a guy trying to kill me. Please hold. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is no please hold in that emergency. <laughs> like, please hold. Oh. Um... Let me see what I have written down getting, for this. Getting technical, right. um, let's talk symbolism. Okay. Right? Because you mentioned the plant. Do you know what the plant symbolizes? Plant symbolizes something that may never mature. That's a, that's a theory. It's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. What's, what's the name? Plant symbolizes Leon. Because the plant like no Leon. Brain cells. The plant like <laughs> The plant's a pedo. Always hanging around seeds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, the plant, the plant has no roots because okay. it's in a pot, a pot, right? Okay. So Leon has no roots. Leon is not allowed to settle down anywhere, just like the plant is never allowed to spread its roots. Well, he could. Which he is why he's not left his money. Which is, aye, but I will get to that. Oh, we'll get you. Which is why at the end, <laughs> when Matilda plants, she's like, ah, finally, she's now able to settle down roots. Okay, right. right. So that's yeah. the symbolism of that. Yeah. Oh, is that that's when the fucking sting. Yeah. The, the symbolism the, of I'm always drinking milk. Okay. Do you know that? No. So it's basically a Wild West thing, which is also Get tied into the horse fact. Drink your milk, John uh, Wayne. When okay. he's all, when he's when he does the John Wayne impression. Yeah. It's always it's basically to say that he's actually even though he's an assassin, he's a, he's the good guy. That's okay. that's to discern him from the killers. He's the good guy, and he drinks milk because yeah. get off your horse and drink your milk. The good guys in westerns traditionally drink he, hmm. milk, so that's the symbolism of that. He is shagging an illegal orphan. I yes, will say that. Yes, but good remember, guys. we have to remember that Luke Besson doesn't think that's wrong. Okay, right. So, right, so this is we're trying to watch this film through the eyes of God, a pedophile. God, I forgot she's an orphan now as well. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ, she's illegal. They don't. People don't even know if she's missing. Oh. Because the, the whole because it's the police too. Yeah. They're also like kind of so she's basically off. She yeah. also tells her school that she's dead. As I well. know, I know, I know. <laughs> Why have the school never been alerted? Why is this such a surprise that her parents are dead? Surely, when they're looking, the police are looking for a missing child. Mm. The first place they go, oh, she's enrolled at this private school. Yeah, we yeah. should probably go and inform the headmistress that she's on either on the run or Aye. presumed dead. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. So the symbolism of the plant. Yeah. It's for the roots. Yeah. Symbolism of milk is to show that he's actually a good guy. Do you know the symbolism of him wearing braces? Why? It's because his trousers are too big. <laughs> what the fuck are you, stupid? <laughs> yeah. I fucking... I had this Harvard little... I was like... Oh, yeah, fucking... Fuck. <laughs> I don't even know. I was like braces. What's this good? This could be. I don't. I don't quite understand. I don't get why. How she's at private school. Fucking bastard. 
because her dad, her dad who's a drug dealer, mm. and her mum, I'm assuming, is a prostitute. Her no, mom. it could be a because pro- she, she is about to leave, and he tries to bang her in the the bathroom, mm. and he says, "Just work from home today, honey." I thought this, that I thought that's what that was. That was a nod oh, to. Oh, that would make sense. Actually. You're going out to pump somebody anyway. Pump me at home. Okay, right. And she's dressed. Like a, yeah, she's, she's dressed. dressed. She's dressed what filmmakers think a traditional hooker dress like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got a leopard skin. Dressed like uh, Carrie Bradshaw in the eighties. Yes, in the start of yes. the last episode. I think. Um, yeah. But I don't understand because he clearly doesn't like the kids. He clearly hates Matilda. Why is he spending so much money putting her into a private school? Uh, yeah, he, he, he fucking hates her, but my and God, are, he believes in her. And are there no, are there <laughs> no background yeah, yeah. suitability checks on the parents at this private school? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this one's an international drug dealer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Maybe one to watch. <laughs> I remember the part where NFL was like, What's this, what does the guy look like? And he's like, serious. <laughs> yeah. And then he goes, there's a guy coming up here. A serious guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Your daughter's missing. What does she look like? Sad. Uh, She's sad. Um, do you like milk? Yeah. Got that. <laughs> Ask Colin if he likes I milk. I do like milk. I imagine you drink milk from a saucer. No, I don't drink milk from a <laughs> fucking saucer. Outside the that house. would be on bald news. <laughs> <laughs> Some dude at your back door sucking, sucking your cat milk. I fucking love milk. Okay, do you, but you can't. Do you order like a pint of it ever? I I would never order a pint of it. I'd I order was a glass going, of it, but it has to be cold. I was going through a period for a while where I would quite easily drink four pints of milk a day. <laughs> Easily. Four pints of milk easily, a day. Easily, easily. You're drinking four pints of milk yeah. a day. I got my milk addiction got to the stage where I wasn't um, even pouring it into glasses anymore. You're I was up. just going. I will quite happily, and I must look like a fucking maniac because milk's one of those things, right? You're gonna be bathing in milk like in June. Milk is one of those things. Again, it's one of those things that's not. You're not doing anything wrong, but it looks like you are. Yeah. If I was to walk in, if we went for a pint after this for a drink. Mm-hmm. And I asked for a glass of milk yeah. from the bar. People would think I'm a fucking psychopath. Yes. Right? But why? What's wrong with asking for a, a drink of milk? Because the only t- reference we have of someone drinking milk is a disabled pedo. <laughs> well, you think all bar people are going to immediately jump to oh, Leon? Or right, here, can you have a glass of milk? All right. Leon, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if someone did that to you, you'd be like, oh, that where did that come from? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah. But oh, you've got to be fucking 14 year old in your apartment? I've realized how psychotic I must look. I have, and I'll probably do it because I'm going down to Blackpool this weekend and okay. I'll be driving down. I will probably do the same thing. I've gone into service stations and, I gone, don't like this already. and gone, do you know what? Do you know what? Because you know there, what? Are, there, are, there are certain things <laughs> I like drinking milk with. Right, milk with chocolate is incredible. Yeah, okay. Milk with certain types of crisps okay. is awesome. Okay. Milk with Greg's sausage rolls oh, Jesus is insanely good, right? Okay. So I will go into a service station and buy a chocolate bar and a bag of crisps and then go, I don't like the accompaniment of like a can of Coke or other other juice with that. To do that. I want milk, right? I will then go, but do you know what? Because I've got the crisps and the chocolate bar, one pint isn't enough. So I will buy a two pint carton of milk and I'll be driving along the motorway, one hand on the steering wheel, just tanning no, a, two, no, no. a two pint carton of milk. No, no, I don't believe you. I sw- I'll, you, I'll you, fucking you take, you a, tank, I'll, I'll take a picture of it. Two pints of like a two pint carton of milk, you've been sitting there swigging. While you're driving, while I'm driving, water. yes, you're a no. I swear, I what happens if you crash? I swear on the kids. I swear on <laughs> the kids. Crash, like, well, I'm just a, open, a guy that's crashed drink milk. Yeah, you're gonna open up the door and you're gonna. Be, it's, it's reminding me of that fuck. It's always sunny when they're trying to drive with a cereal, but you're gonna have fucking milk everywhere. They're gonna be like, why is it, two liters as well? Yeah, not two liters, two pints. So uh, one point four liters. Uh, okay, right, right, but still, uh, still a bigger one than even the fifty cents. Yeah. No, it's not a wee one. It's uh, a, yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. Like, it's one, a, it's yeah, a no. jug. Yeah. That, ugh, I swear, that's so I swear weird. in the kid's life. That's so have, weird. You don't do it while more, other people are in the car. Been, no, 
Yeah. There have been good. I have drunk milk while the kids are in the car, I'll, <laughs> but that's just a wee pint. But that doesn't matter. That's that's just setting a terrible precedence yeah. for your children. They're gonna look up and they're like, "My dad drinks pints of milk." There has been. Driving. There has been. <laughs> See, when you put it like that, <laughs> like that, that's it. My dad drinks pints of milk when he's driving. They're there like, what? Been, there, there was a time where I was drinking one and Shane said from the back, I got a swig of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I passed through the milk. Oh, it, was, it generally felt like a kind of torch getting passed oh, from generation to generation. Like it's so My warm. heart swelled <laughs> with pride because he was drinking milk. I don't even know why milk in the back seat's wrong as well. <laughs> Just milk in the car. Who's drinking milk in their car? Milk in the... Drinking... <laughs> milk in like a shit Bruce Springsteen song. <laughs> I'm drinking milk in the backseat <laughs> of my car. I can't believe With it. With my baby <laughs> staring at me. <laughs> you fucking milk in a chuck. A whole thing of milk. That's a proper, like... I don't know. What do we think scaffolders do that? Do you want to know the best chocolate butter of milk? No. Twirl. A twirl? Twirl. And do you want to know the best crisps? You can care, so interesting. Royster's T-bone steak. <laughs> Genuinely, I've tried loads. They work well with milk. Do you want to know another weird thing? You I can't just go paired nicely with milk. Yeah. Do you want to know another weird thing? I remember this the other day, a weird thing I used to do with crisps. No, no. Do you know the crisps? What are you doing now? You frisps. Do you know frisps? Like they weren't quite crinkle cut. They were about your average crisp size. Mm. And they weren't crinkle cut, but they were ridged. Right. right. So their salt and vinegar ones are incredibly salt and vinegary. <laughs> okay, right. Like, like as in, like, yeah. as much as, like, the little chipsticks? Yes. Right. Mm. Now, I don't... They're, they're quite... They've got quite a good consistency. They've got quite a good ridge to them. Disco. Quite a hardy one. Yeah. Mm. Right. I don't know when this started, but I remember doing this when I was a child and in my you're, teenage years, and I still do it. Putting it along the slit of your dick? No. <laughs> disgusting <laughs> what, I, what I will do is not with half if, if the crisp if the crisp has been broken okay. I will not do the it both, if the crisp has been yeah okay if the crisp has been defaced uh -huh. if it's a whole crisp what I will do is I'll take the frisp out I will lick it clean of all the salt and vinegar oh, no. and then I will keep it on the side right so I'll maybe have five or six from the bag I'll keep it on the side until it's a specific type of texture, and then I'll eat it again. You're fucking right? fucked. You're, no, you're so it's fucked it's, it's genuinely, it's like getting a second crisp. That's fucking the worst <laughs> thing I've ever... <laughs> that's worse. You've managed to cover... Like, you're trying to neck in two liters of milk or two pints of milk <laughs> driving your car, and you're fucking regurgitating your own crisps. Cause you I think realize it, how weird it sounds. Yeah. You... But, it genuinely it's like getting a sick it's like a squishy oh it's fucking because, horrible because you're it's like wet it's like the, the, see the saliva because you've already got the goodness of the I salt feel, and vinegar taste I sick but <laughs> see your saliva and the salt that naturally exists in your body and your saliva it almost resalts the crisp oh, but in a different way so you get a second time so I'm, I, if anything I'm a money saver because I'm getting two bags of crisps whereas you fuckers. fools are only getting you're, you're, one that is the worst so, like, if I was to, if there was somehow, like, if you're in road wars. Road wars? Yeah. If you were, like, a policeman in road oh, wars, yeah. and you know, they sometimes the camera going inside the car. You'd see some mental shit. You would see you a horse and milk. Yeah. Like, putting on the. You would see. I've never sucking, done it. I've never sucking done, chips. I've never done that in the car. Sucking crisps. I've never done that in the car. <laughs> putting them on the dashboard. <laughs> like, I'll come back for you in an hour when you're. See, you, 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 but you can't speak about this. You can't drive. You oh, don't get. You don't, get, uh, to not, not you don't to get to comment on this. this is not, I do fucking. You don't get, get to comment on. Get to you don't comment. get to comment on drivers' behaviour when, you, not when you're not a driver. That's not you can comment behavior. on passengers' behaviour, absolutely, but you don't get to comment that's, on this. That's the behaviour of a Luke Besson <laughs> driving around fucking horse and milk. You're, you're taking a piss when you've been driving. No, I've never had that. No, I. My, Eugene did it once. I t I took a piss in the balls with. when I was going to. Uh, you can't. It's impossible to do. Um, I did it in, when I was driving down to Cardiff once and I was running really, really late for the gig and I knew there was literally no chance of me stopping. So I had a bottle of water and I couldn't, I was like, it's not, I'm just going to make it worse if I drink the rest of that. So I poured that out the window, right? And then I got it down. And there's a weird thing that happens where I don't know if it's like the pressure or the suction where 
your dick ends up swelling <laughs> in the, the and then suddenly from you just going to a regular trickle because you're obviously you're like I, I, I know there's more than a bottle's worth here so I'm going to need to pinch this at one point pour that out oh no so no, the no, poor no. guy behind me is getting he, he's getting a sec he's getting a second dose his water's changing color slowly <laughs> from the first from the first pile how dehydrated is this guy it's like fucking rust the, uh, it's a chicken soup we um so uh, a weird thing happens where i don't know if you're uh, the, the pressure and the the suction makes you've you managed to make the your, end of your dick your expand. Ball, you try to make your, you've made a, uh, a homemade penis. Pump yes, back, so yes, it'll be exactly <laughs> the same physics. Right. But what happens is it then it then nips the the stream in the bud, and then you get this unbelievable shoot, <laughs> like like a fucking washer's just broken on your tap, right? And then <laughs> then you're like that, and it's all over the shop. So I just pissed all over myself. <laughs> And I was then thinking, this is, like, this I've is had your... many low points, mm-hmm. but this is one of them. Yeah. I am yeah. now covered in my own piss. <laughs> and I, ca- still, a of... <laughs> I still need a piss. Uh, no. That's the worst thing. I know I'm going to have to go, th- <laughs> I'm going to have to go through this charade again. <laughs> oh, God. How did the gig go? Gig was all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I smelled like piss. It was it great. Was the same, it was the same day when I dyed my hair really badly. So I looked, I, I, I looked Fuck like... Fuck's Because I didn't know. I, 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 I dyed my hair. You're bleeding from both ends? Uh, Amy and the kids were away, so I dyed my hair. But I didn't at that time, I didn't know about toner. So my hair was like what's of orange. The, right. My hair was the same colour as my piss. <laughs> <laughs> so I went into this gig with a suit. Reeking of piss, <laughs> badly dyed hair. <laughs> Cardiff, comedy. You've been amazing. <laughs> there is the comedy. <laughs> Fuck me, he's lost. <laughs> it. Had... Jesus, I'm just remembering. You're fucking. Because I did it, and I couldn't work out why it was freshly wasn't... soft crusts in why your back it wasn't... <laughs> Why it wasn't coming out? <laughs> why it wasn't coming out good? I didn't know about the toner, but that's when I'd used like three different dyes and I'd given myself chemical Aye. burns in my head. So as I was driving along earlier on, I went, what the fuck's that in my head? And I scratched and this whole bit of my scalp came off. <laughs> covered in piss. What a day. You're covered in piss. Oh my God. Collecting bits of your own scalp. A real fucking red letter day that for old Nelsie boy. <laughs> that, that's fucking excellent. <sighs> I've written here. Do you know how great it would be in Leon if you know, when he's you know he has that first guy. You know he's got the knife around the guy and he goes mm-hmm. ring the fucking ring this number and mm-hmm. then the guy rings the number mm-hmm. and they're like hello it's Reynolds Funeral Homes <laughs> and then he goes S- <laughs> <laughs> this is for Matilda. <laughs> like, oh, no. Absolutely no need. Uh, yeah, common assassin trope. I've done, I think I've said this before because I still think it's a money maker about women and kids. If you were in a, I've, I've oh this, yeah, yeah, I would only do women and kids <laughs> again. It comes up, it, you make so much money. Yeah, because he's not. He's 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 definitely and he's, he's the best as well. Uh, no, he's like I only fuck the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm really coming around to this business idea of being an, a women and kids only you assassin. Would, you would, you, you would, would clean up. You would clean up. Like he, she just said, no women, no kids. But like, man, if you want, like. Some annoying. So some fucking. 14, I don't think fourteen-year-old m- takes a wing mirror off your Ferrari. I don't think the money would be as good. I think the money would be better. But I don't know I if you'd need make you up someone to kill this fourteen-year-old. Mm. I need someone to kill this and not this bitch. There will be women that there will be people that want to kill. There'll be guys that, no, are, be are, that, are, that, are, that are like in a fucking alimony case or are getting taken to the cleaners oh, and yeah. the divorce and go. They do it for free. This would be much easier if she was just. <laughs> yeah. 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 I do, I, I do uh, women free Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> Two for one, dear. I'll kill, I'll kill the mum and the kid. I'm telling you. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> Gary Oldman smells someone in it. That's proper off. Yes. Enjoy that. Yeah. That's, I do, that's funny that that was so off. Because I do it on buses you sniff people on buses yeah the only the, right. only the women in front of me right to let, so they know i'm not a threat <laughs> i pat their head and go have a lovely you're okay with me have a lovely journey <laughs> no need to be concerned oh, so awful 
So no need to be concerned. That was, that was the most concerning words you get to hear from someone. You're all right with me. I didn't think there was until you sat down. I like the way they... Because the way they introduce Oldman is you don't even see his face. Mm-hmm. He's he's turned away and he's listening to Beethoven <laughs> on the earphones. And then the guy's like that to the to the drug mule. I'm assuming he's a mule because he just keeps the drugs. And what? So his crime is he's been siphoning off a bit of drugs for himself. Yeah, I think so. Aye. aye. So he uh, and it, the the, the uh, you don't know he's a DEA agent at this point, but mm. Omen's like colleague is kind of saying to the guy, "Look, something's happened. Right, some of the drugs have gone missing, or it's it's not as pure as it was." Mm. So. I mean, come on, you've fucking taken some, just admit it, just me. he's like, I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not, and he's like, listen, well, right, uh, listen, I'll take your word for it, but you don't want me to disturb him when he's listening to his music, like he's got his tunes on, <laughs> yeah. and he can he, he can tell a liar, he's got an incredible talent for telling liars, and honestly, you don't, so you're already going, how much of a psychopath can this guy be? And then he turns around and he looks fucked. Yeah, yeah, Like yeah, he yeah, looks yeah, the yeah, most yeah. hungover person you've ever seen in your life. And then he sniffs him and you go, fuck, this guy is a maniac. Like, <laughs> so much better. He just turned around and went, liar. <laughs> <laughs> Earbud back in. <laughs> like Trump. No. <laughs> yeah. Liar, brother. <laughs> liar. And he's gay. <laughs> it's a great scene when he blows that woman away in the bath. That's a class that shot. That's a real good it's like, shot. There's a cool shot where the hole's coming out the back and there's blood and bath water dripping uh, out her back. Yeah, <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, like, yeah, it? yeah. yeah. Um, that's a comfy way to sleep. I have the glasses. That's one thing, me and Leon. Yes, you've got the same. Uh, now, you should play on that more because we I should we've play always, we, I've always taken the piss out of you because they're Dr. Robotnik glasses that from fine, Sonic. But now he's a pedo. Yeah, that would, you, yeah, you can't. So it's fucked now. You can't. But I remember, I remember around about this time people going out at Halloween as Leon and Matilda. <laughs> can't right. do that anymore. Well, Make sure it's the same Matilda, not just Diller Matilda. It would also look the same, wouldn't it? Yeah. You're like, I'm Matilda. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you should play on that. <coughs> I've got the same you glasses should go as Tony. Well. Fat Tony. <laughs> I bought just a fat Italian guy. Nailed it. I don't think Tony... He I doesn't think... look Italian, does he? Oh, no, he is. Uh, he's like a Danny Aiello. He's yeah, a proper, Danny Aiello, uh, yeah. He's... Because I always thought he was... I always thought he was a decent dude to, to Leon, but he's actually not. He's a bit of a piece of shit. Yeah, I did too. And uh, this time I watched it, I go, oh no, he's got him hooked in. Yeah. Like he, is a... he also rats him out. Uh, yes. Like, yeah, I mean, he, yeah, ta- yeah. he takes a beating. Yeah, yeah. But you'd imagine the line of work Tony's in. Yeah, yeah. He knows how to take <laughs> a kick in without... But that, that's probably why he's like, okay, I give you the money, kid. Aye. It was me that fucked you. But he's only got some bruises on his face. He's not. Yeah, yeah. He's not like in... Yeah, he's yeah. not in plaster in the hospital and going, look, they were gonna like they've already taken yeah. one of my kneecaps, <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna take the other. I'm sorry, Leon. He's yeah. just he's just been smacked about a bit and gone. Yeah. Right, he lives over there. He's he's basically uh, what, what he's basically Britney Spears' dad, and he, and Leon's Britney here. There's a conservative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, you reckon, like, he, 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 and it's funny clearly because he's kept all his money there. He's I like, was gonna say, do you reckon that money still exists, or has Big Tony spent it? Uh, oh, aye, he's yeah, got he's got a new fucking pizza oven at the back. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's because even you when you come anytime, but I better keep it all at once. Aye. Don't be coming here asking for it at even once. Even when even the guy's dead and he goes, "My dying wishes," you give it all to Matilda. He's still going. Uh, listen, it's better aye. here than the bank. Here's yeah, a yeah. here's a hundred. Here's hey, here twelve year old child. Here's a hundred. That'll get you through the month. What? You know where to live. It also yeah. that means uh, you can't just give a hundred when you use uh, like, every time an assassin's at, at the very minimum you said was five grand. Yeah, <laughs> it's so harsh. Yeah, it's not even like Aye. oh my guess not even five percent of the wage yeah. check. Yeah, it was like Leon only bought Lego. Where well, also <laughs> she had twenty grand at one point. Where's that going? Oh yeah, because she pays. She gives the guy in the taxi a hundred, and she gives the kid that's gonna tells her to get that she's not yeah. allowed to sit there a hundred. So she's still got a good nineteen thousand eight hundred. That's good. Yeah. Left. Where's that all gone? I don't know, but that that extra. How hundred. does she get in the DA's office as well with a bag of guns? Because it's just a little girl. It's the least secure. But even Leon comes in. There's only there's only two guys. I will say that the police... there are two men in a DA New York office. There are two men between him yeah, and the agents yeah, yeah. upstairs. There's not any, and no one else is working there that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. 
Everybody else is off. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Plus, you know, like that 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 whole crew we were already saying they didn't really make believable policemen, but also because they just opened fire and panicked at everything. Yeah. <laughs> and he shot the guy's head off. Remember the guy out in the hall too? Yeah. He just picked his head around. And he blew again. Another policeman. <laughs> was very. It was very New York police though. Absolutely yeah. killing killing the Mexican family. Um. I've done all that. Like two scenes, I hate. Oh, oh sitting. Do you like the sitting? By the way, sitting, sitting, sleeping like that. He no. sleeps with it sitting upwards. No, I probably could if I was tired enough, but I couldn't. I need a bed. I've I'd struggle. Well, I don't, I don't, <laughs> you, be, you sit can, on, sitting on the bed just. I can sleep on most. <laughs> I can sleep on most transports. So I suppose you are, but mm. then I lie down and I noise a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just in the gangway, sucking your fucking <laughs> crisps and neck and pints of milk. Boss, my God, imagine. Um, <laughs> so we're looking at you like frisps. The two, the two scenes I don't like. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the scene where he's like that. Um, she's like, she calls him pigs or something, and he goes, "Hey, pigs are better than humans." Or he's a stinking pig. Pigs don't actually stink. I got a pig. Okay. Like, I've got a pig in my yeah. kitchen. No, you don't. And then he comes out with that fucking stupid oven, an oven glove. I've got a pig out in the kitchen. It comes oh. back with her mother's head. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Jesus Christ um, that and the dress up scene I find very very uncomfortable yes that was deeply uncomfortable the Mr. President thing because it, it is him clearly horny yeah like oh. even I think it's even I think why didn't they just what right again but who are we who are we to tell Luke Besson clearly the guy's got fucking issues yeah, yeah. why not have it why did she have to be Madonna because I, I find the Madonna Singing like a virgin, more uncomfortable oh, yeah, than yeah, the Marilyn yeah, Monroe yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Why not just have her come out as Charlie Chaplin? Yeah, yeah. He's got no idea who the fuck Charlie Chaplin is. Then have her come out as Fred Astaire. Yeah. And then have him come out as John Wayne. That then you've got three classical Hollywood actors. Yeah. Nobody's gone. Why am I watching yeah. a girl try to seduce an old, a, yeah. a forty-year-old man here? Debbie does about Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, is that, um, yeah. <laughs> you know it. this film, Showgirls. <laughs> <laughs> Demi Moore, Strip Tease. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like that scene. Yeah. Do you know, uh, fun fact about that scene uh, Natalie Portman had never actually, she didn't have a fucking clue who Marlon Monroe was. <laughs> and I certainly had never seen her singing that to JFK. She based her doing that on. Mike Myers doing it in Wayne's World. <laughs> You've That's seen funny. It, the scene in Wayne's World where Tia Carrere's on the phone. Yes. And he puts on her bra and starts going, Happy birthday, <laughs> Mr. President. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she based it on that. Good. That's a, that's a nice little tidbit. <laughs> little Nelson's tidbits. Yeah. Um, that's the whole thing about, like, uh, I like these calm moments before the storm. It seems like something you would do. What? Like, just, like, fucking... Building yourself up for a Chinese. <laughs> I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna say a gig. <laughs> Fucking hell! I, by the way, that pig as well. That pig oven. She got. She got far too. At first of all, she was just like, "I don't care about my mom," and I'm like, "I reckon you would have bit." Regardless of your arguing with your parents, yeah. they all get murdered in front of you. Like, She's only raging about her brother. The yeah, boy. yeah. But she she wasn't that raging because, like, I mean, that pig oven thing just cheered her immediately up, and she was like, "Anyway, moved on." Well, it, I mean, he's a bit because he's like, "Hello, yeah, yeah, hello, yeah. hello, Matilda, <laughs> yeah. how are you today?" And she goes, "I've had better days." <laughs> you <Yeah>. fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How does she say she's a cleaner as well? Something like. What do you want to do for a living? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like fucking ethnic <laughs> cleansing. Is that what you're doing? That's of some amount of... <laughs> some amount. Um, I... I hate the fucking... Uh, you, you saved me. You're now responsible for me. Yeah. That's fucking ridiculous. That's like, you know... I think he should have killed her. Yeah, well... I we, think... I don't know why we both went, oh, yeah. Right. But, yeah, because it made more she, sense than... She does <laughs> everything to try and mess things up. Like, she... So first of all, when he tells her, just keep it a sight, don't do that, she goes back to the... So she already puts herself in danger by go, going back to her apartment to try and get the 20 grand. Yeah. Right, that's a fucking stupid move. Going to the DEA's office is a stupid fucking move. Yeah. The bit when she goes down and basically shops him into the hotel owner. Oh, yeah, like, What yeah, was yeah. she expecting to happen then? I know she's only 12, right? 
But but she knows enough. If she knows it's bad, she knows that. Right. So she goes down, and the guys like, I your dad must be proud of you. Well, well he's not actually my dad. We're we're pumping. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the hotel owner then goes to get security guards. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. I, first of all, I think the police would be involved then. Yeah. And then once the police turn up and go, we're just going to take you in some questions because you're living with a 12-year-old girl you're not related to. Yeah. Then they think, fucking hell, turns out you're a massive assassin as well. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. Now, yeah. We've now just solved 52 different murders. What a day this is for us. All because that stupid prick has gone down to try and wind up the fucking <laughs> hotel yeah, yeah, desk yeah, yeah. guy. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing! Actually, she just she absolutely fucks him mm. about she fucks him in about ten different ways. Yeah. As, well, obviously, as we find out. <laughs> um, but but like, um, she also like opens fire into the street. Do you remember that she was? He was like, it's not for little girls, and she just lifts a gun, and just opens fire into, yeah. the, into the street in Manhattan. Yes. Just, she just goes, poof, poof, and he's like, oh. So, Wait, so, should be somebody's getting shot then. Some old woman trying to lift a fucking pair off the Imagine fucking it was stand. the same old woman that Oldman nearly shot with a glass. <laughs> Can't catch a break in this area. <laughs> That's so bad. Head exploded into a grandfather oh clock. My God. Just, they're like, what the fuck happened there? Yeah, uh, like she does that. They keep moving. She makes them have to move house three times yeah. because of different things. Yeah. Uh, they're not very covert as well. No. Remember the time when she's like putting the guy just opens fire into the hallway yeah. and he's just like chucks a grenade in Aye. the ring trick obviously it's a ends up they need to show the ring trick Aye. and then apparently remember the time he breaks in and the guy's like oh, and then they practice on him and then they shoot the guy they, see that's in it. see after they shoot the guy did they burn his drugs in your, the version you watched yes yeah yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah. How, how also how is she so good from the off but but you, she shoots a guy a moving target running from a building <laughs> Yeah. Like, there's not a chance a 12-year-old would be that good. Like, I've seen... Like, I've got a 10-year-old, and she's dog shit at most things she tries <laughs> for the you, first you time. You try to get her to take out someone? Like, you try and... <laughs> uh, yeah. But you fucking... Hit, you, like, if I handed out like, a fucking badminton racket, she'd be dog shit at it. Yes. It's okay. not, I mean, you're not yeah, handing yeah, yeah, her yeah. a fucking high-powered rifle and saying... <laughs> Through the trees, yeah, yeah, six hundred yards away, that guy that's constantly moving, heavily headshot, no, heavily, heavily, uh, heavily densely populated. We are in New York, remember? Yeah. Oh, oh. What's Fucks. the? What's the? What's the reason he says for not shooting them in the head again? Oh, it's because you, you, you don't, don't get, get your money. Yeah, you don't yeah. Get your money. I reckon you'd probably get your money if <laughs> in most cases, but Aye. yeah, you don't get your money. Yeah. But like, um, do you know, like, uh. You sh- she burns the drugs after that guy. She, she, whatever he shoots the guy, and he goes. Uh, she goes burns the drugs. He goes what? And he goes. You said no women and kids. Who do you think this is going to hurt? Right, junkies. And I go. You know what? I reckon would hurt women and kids. Set in a terrace building that they run on fire. <laughs> yeah. Just set the building yeah. on fire and walked with, out with ridiculously flammical. She's flammable. just about to kill about. She's about to grandfall yeah. that place. <laughs> She's just like, who do you think is going to hurt women or kids? She's going to burn children to death. Uh, that. Um, um, yeah. The last thing I have is the scene where they go to the restaurant. Yeah. And they order champagne and she starts tanning the champagne. Mm. How quickly do you think it would take to get a child pissed? Jesus Christ. How much? How many drinks? How many pints? Let's do it in pints. Two. Pints of lager. You think two pints would get a... And what pest are we talking? Like slurring words, Slurring staggering words. about? Slurring words. I, I think it would take more than two. Do you reckon? It should take you, but one and a half and you're already... Fuck off. I'm fucking amazing drinker. <laughs> drink, you under the, drink you under any table. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, the... Uh, I, did you do that thing? Did you have Shandy Bass in Ireland? I don't know what a shandy bass is. But you had shandy? Yeah. And it was like 0.3%. No, we just poured lemonade into it. No, no, no. But you used to get it in cans. You not have this. So you could buy them at a shop. No. We had a thing called shandy bass. You could get like a can of it, just a regular 330 mil can, or you could get a bottle of it. And it used to be zero, I think 0.3 or 0.5% okay. alcohol. That's all. And odd. there was always that thing of, okay. if I drank enough of this, I would get... I, I kid, if I drank enough of this, would I get pissed? Never. Apparently you can't. Apparently. Nah. It's, it's too little. By the time you have drunk enough, so much of it has worn off <laughs> that you're constantly, you'd constantly be chasing it. That's, that's you so need to be in a bath and just consume it all immediately, basically. Let's do that. Which is possible. Okay. Right. I've, done it, I've, I've done it with milk. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like a bass. big fat Cleopatra <laughs> sitting in a bath of milk. Oh, God. Um, who was the guy that you shot? The paintball guy in the street? Would you reckon it's a good... I, th- I assumed he was like a, a TV personality oh, yeah. or a radio personality mm. or something. He looked a bit... He couldn't be a radio person. He had some security guards. No, that's true, actually. Fucking I assume TV person. But maybe he was a politician or something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, right, so... if he, My other... I've got four points left. First of all, number one. If the hotel thinks he's a pedophile, mm. why do they not call the police? They just kick mm-hmm. him out. Number one. Number two. Uh, he knows that pedophilia is wrong in this film because it's not set in New York. I just realized it's not set in France. It's set in America. Mm. And most of the thing is about him being a pedo. So he but he can't read, so he doesn't know the laws. Yeah, he's a fucking... <laughs> this is a, he's too stupid. This is why he met him. Shit. I don't know why I'm defending him. That is why by he going, met him. By going, listen, if, 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 the, if the rules aren't written down, then... Well, how's, how's this man meant to do... How's this man not meant to know? Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Uh, I read here, there's nothing worse than when you're babysitting and the kid you're babysitting starts playing Russian roulette. <laughs> Forgot they play Russian. <laughs> again, nearly cut, she nearly blows her own head off. But does, does and she again, not... opens fire again in his new apartment Aye. that she met him in. Does she not? I think she puts more than one bullet in the gun. What, was there one? Does in she? The... Oh, I think she does. Yeah, she puts one in the chamber. Does try to do the trick, but he's like, "There's one in the chamber." Because I know he can hear it by the. He put, I think she hears one going into the chamber, and he does that spinning trick Aye. where it would be the last one, so Aye. she knows. But she's like, "There's already one in the chamber." Ah, see, right, right, so right. So there's actually right, right. two. That's why he slapped her. Like, well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's oh. like, first of all, he's like, she, "This fucker." Has opened fire from my first apartment. I've had to move apartments. Second apartment I've yeah. she's opened fire here playing Russian roulette. Third place I've got this thing she's out of me as a pedophile. <laughs> fucking, he can't go anywhere. She's absolutely destroying his life. Yeah. That's what I mean. Don't have her hanging about. Russian roulette. If if the Russian roulette happened, oh great, sorry. Well, thank you for doing that now because now a child has committed suicide. Yeah. Not my one. There's going to be saying an unregistered orphan child <laughs> has blown their head off. And I'm going to have to be, it was a game of Russian roulette. She was playing with my ass, <laughs> yeah. big old assassin guns. <laughs> One of my own. Uh, <laughs> also, right, when when he's training her to be a, a, an assassin and Tony goes, and Tony's already kind of a bit, oh, if things change, Leon, if things change. And he goes, well, listen, it wasn't easy to get this. And I go, I imagine it wasn't a child-sized <laughs> sniper <laughs> rifle. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't yeah. think that was easy to get, Tony, for fuck's yeah. sake. I had to go to parts of Africa yeah, for this it's one. Not like, exactly, it's not like <laughs> You're not trying to get a fucking left-handed driver for a kid. <laughs> That's so funny. Child sniper as well. <laughs> Jesus not even Christ. Specialised weapon. <laughs> not a, even. A tiny sniper. I reckon rifle. you could get small AK-47s nifty enough. But a sniper? <laughs> Silencer and scopes? Mm. Yeah. Um, I was saying that, imagine, the pedo hunters are going to come for Leon. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's just really funny. Because he'll answer the door of the pig mat. The, the pigment <laughs> oh. I mean that's to be fair that is a bad day for the pedo hunters if they turn up and the guy's a trained assassin <laughs> yeah, 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 oh yeah. fuck we've bit off more than we could chew here boys <laughs> He's not only that, he's just... I told you why are we meeting him in his apartment why have we deviated from outside of a Tesco why we know the rules <laughs> It's always a Tesco. <laughs> always a Tesco at a train station. Always. <laughs> Why are we meeting this guy in his terms? <laughs> You're meeting him at Fat Tony's. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is a disaster. Uh, uh, the last thing I have written is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's it. She called him a nonce. I've already done that. Russian yeah. roulette. Yeah, well, basically, his Airbnb ratings one stars. Because <laughs> of her. Um... Great film. What I love about this podcast is we do take we, we've managed to take films that we genuinely do love and turn them into fucking ludicrous. Yeah, this was yeah that the Luke Besson does add an extra thing. Yeah. It was you're deeply uncomfortable. Yeah. Loves this film. It's still very. It's a very very enjoyable. Enjoyable. Film. Yeah. And did. the two action scenes, the the first action, the first assassination scenes are absolute class. That 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 SWAT team's great purely because uh, you see the SWAT team scared yeah they're scared because they can't get them out it's very yeah. funny uh he sends her down the fucking whatever uh but you know what's funny he, he nearly gets out you know if you don't know he dresses up basically as a SWAT team SWAT team guy and they yeah. bring him down they're idiots they're like 
Where did he go? He sits about for far too long. Gary Oldman rather than go, there he is. And everybody I, just swam in. He goes, I, I want also, to kill him alone. I also reckon nobody recognises him. Not one guy no, Not one guy goes, I don't, I've never seen that guy in the SWAT That's team That's a fucking before. Italian land there. Aye, and also, aye, do you, anyone John in, yours, any in your team with an accent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy out here with an accent. Like, right, we're after an Italian, isn't it, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, this SWAT member's wearing a Roberto Baggio top. He just took off the mask. <laughs> it's a me, a Mario. <laughs> Gary Oldman sees him and goes, that must be him. And doesn't tell it, the hundreds of police. goes, I want to kill him myself, which is pretty fucked up. Yeah. But then he also goes, He'll be down this level. Remember, like, you know, he goes out and he goes, he'll come down this. He was lucky they went out in that yeah. exact little back shoot. Yeah. It's a cool way. Like, I love Also, them, that great death scene. I actually love this death scene, but uh, also the God, my God, them. They've got some timers on them grenades. Uh, like What's a, that for? 30, 32 seconds after. Like, as far as I'm. He, a- in, real, in real life, he'd be like, here. And he'd be like, what? That's from Matilda! <laughs> <laughs> That's from Matilda! Aye. Who? Who's got those grenades? What are they used for? Why would you need a grenade with a delay on it? The delay that much? I don't know. Like, there's far too much of a delay. No. Um, anyway, class, class, class. I, I actually do sometimes stab people, pretend to stab <laughs> people. And I always used to say <laughs> and whisper and behind their heads, like, this is for Matilda. <laughs> I did, I, I still do. Oh, that's fucking excellent. I've, I've done it a few times. Oh. Be, yeah, yeah. I did it to someone though, when I was fucked at a gig and they were really confused before <laughs> they went on. Tend to stab them in the back. Oh, man, we need to start bringing that. You need to start bringing that back. Oh, right? well, uh, this is for Matilda. Oh, bro. <laughs> They're like, what are you talking about? Um, I used to it's, it, the, the actual phrase, it fucked me off because I used to say, this is for Matilda, but it's from, this is from Matilda. This is from Matilda. And I was like, mm. Aye. change that I've already been quoting this for years Aye. <laughs> four <laughs> four it's from you fucking idiot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's even funnier if he explodes before he gets there yeah <laughs> <This is pfft>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know it'd be um, great if that was the ring from a little fart one <laughs> 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 oh no it's the wrong one <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, next week, uh, because we are coming up to our 50th episode for 49 and 50, we are going to do a special thing where we're not going to find a film. We're just going to pick one yeah. of our favourite films. Now, I assume people think I'm going to do Jaws. Hmm. I'm not. Oh. I thought it was too obvious. Okay. Next week, we are going to be watching Back to the Future. Yay! Oh, great, great. That's a good one. So, plenty to talk about. And it's a class, class film. And then uh, for week 50, uh, Ryan is going to pick one of his favourite films. I have, I have mine's between two. Okay, excellent stuff. Don't tell, I don't want to, I no. don't want to know. Uh, and then after that, for 51 and 52, because the Euros is on, we are going to do, we're going to each pick a football film. And I get, I'm, I'm between two on that one. Okay, right. I think well. I've, I've definitely got one. Uh, there are a lot less, when you actually look into it, there's a lot less football films than you think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, found one, I found a monkey one. Did you? Yeah, monkey, and he's doing an overhead kick, and it's called MVP2. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. So that might do. I mean, I mean, I suppose if the Euros are still on... Green, you, could... you can do Green Street. Yeah, I was wondering if hooligans would be allowed. Yeah, yeah, hooligans is then, allowed. Yeah, Green... Yeah. Football, we'll just do football, but... Then... Green Street and Football Factory are both two films that would be very funny to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, got, I've got an idea for... Okay, great. Two. Um, apart from that, uh, keep sending us uh, your reviews and stuff. Uh, tickets are starting to shift. For Edinburgh, because I've now got a poster out, and you've got now, your poster you've out. Got a now red, red sixty one on the go. I've got that. I can check mm. on the hour. Um, let's let's find out actually. I don't know how how to do this. I want to know this. Um, I can't see. I can't even give you because mine's just uh, for Monkey Barrel. Okay. So yeah, you need you yeah, need yeah, to get yeah. a, an underbelly one. Um, Brett will have it. Yeah, yeah. So let's see if any have sold this morning, Ryan. Do, 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 I do, do, do. Yeah, I do have a post right by the way, so go follow me and all that. Type <laughs> they of have shit. not. Hmm? Huh? None sold since nine o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, so well, that's not too if bad. If you want to rectify that, I'd be surprised right. if anybody bought tickets. 
came out and did. Why? You'd be surprised, honestly. Odd. Let's see. Well, we're putting out on this. Oh, yeah. So, three people from this, surely. 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 Um, so, I. Uh, the links to both of our friend shows will be down on the uh, episode description. Uh, I'll need to put the link to the merch as well. Yes. Uh, yeah. Also, the, the because, yeah, there's uh, the email as well. It's the old email as well. So, I must yeah. check that. Um, thank you for everyone that's bought merch so far. Yeah, yeah. Hugely appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I've, set, I've set up this merch shop and I forget how it works. Like, I don't know. I can't remember. Did you, you how get, get money for it? You or? don't know how to get the money. <laughs> I can't remember. I just started up a shop. You should, you should probably work that out. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't forget. And I was like, oh, how does this work again? I just sent it out. But yeah, uh, really you let's go do that. Uh, try and watch Back to the Future for next week if you can. Uh, so I'm in Blackpool this weekend if you're oh, about at the yeah. Comedy Station. I'm you? down at London, the Comedy Store. Ooh, London, the big boy. Yeah, big, big boy. The comedy big boy. Store. So I go. And the Cambridge club festival where i have to do 20 minutes of cleanish material amazing in the afternoon uh, yeah <laughs> fuck ah uh, that's gonna be why am i doing that that'll be a disaster that's gonna be an actual disaster yeah. mm. um you yeah, yeah apart from that i hope you have a good weekend um and yeah please if you can get in touch with us if you want to tell us anything about that it's always nice to receive messages um do you know who i want to get in touch with us Ryan. Hi. everyone <laughs> God, fuck bye up.